it's time. I'm going to be doing the field portion of this study, and as we know, laboratory science is always paramount, whether you're in the lab or in the field. So, I'm going to put on my safety equipment. I'm off to southern Canada. And off he goes. means that a species will evolve to have two distinct phenotypes. In the butterflies, an intermediate phenotype would not be beneficial, as migratory butterflies need to have a slow metabolic rate in order to maintain flight, whereas um, non-migratory butterflies need a high metabolic rate. This difference, and she's here to tell us about that. So as you can see from this figure, as sh Alex showed us before, is that there are 15 amino acid uh, differences between the migratory and non-migratory butterfly amino acids. With a difference in the primary structure, there may be different intermolecular interactions, which can change the overall shape and function of a protein. Since collagen is so essential for muscle morphogenesis and function, a change in the secondary or tertiary structure could potentially affect the wing shape and size of a butterfly. In addition to studying the migratory behaviors of monarch butterflies, we also look at the difference in pigmentation. Sabrina here studied these particular genes. Here we see the wild type orange monarch, as well as the white form. But in our SNP analysis, we singled out a gene that codes for the production of pigment in the butterfly. As can be seen from this graph, the gene was almost identical for both of the morphs, with a p-value of 0 0.02, implying statistical significance. They're identical. The difference between the morphs lies not in the production of pigment, but in the transportation, which is controlled 
controlled by the myosin gene. The fact that the myosin gene ultimately controls the phenotype is unique in the insect world, but does have an analogous effect in vertebrates. Now that we've learned all we can from this little fella, it's time to close up shop and send him home. After a long trip to southern Canada and some laborious time in the lab, what did we learn? Well, we found that the monarch's history of dispersal and divergence is a very interesting one. Its phylogenetic tree does not go with, in accordance with the concept of parsimony, as most other phylogenetic trees are constructed. Additionally, we discovered that migratory butterflies require a low metabolic rate in order to maintain flight. This can be explained by divergent selection on this species. Another interesting point is that the gene producing pigment is identical in both the white and orange dwarfs, but the gene that controls transport of pigment is different. Unfortunately, due to deforestation, the migratory behaviors of these wonderful creatures is declining. Conservation efforts are vital in the preservation of this magnificent fluffy. So long, good friend.